What up guys, Frazier here for Complex News. Kanye West's Yeezy clothing line and footwear is almost as prolific as his music is these days, with dozens of different sneaker models and seven clothing seasons in the last three years. But real ones know Yeezy is far from Kanye's first stab at fashion. Back in the late aughts, Kanye announced his fashion ambitions with a clothing line called Pastel. In the ensuing months and years, Kanye would debut and tease pastel pieces in performances, music videos, and the like. Needless to say, excitement was through the roof. And yet, the line never materialized or cohered into something tangible. Complex's own Carissa Sanchez got to the bottom of Pastel's complicated history, from Kanye's goals to the reasons why it never actually took off in an extensive piece. Here are five things we learned about Kanye's maiden try at a fashion line and Carissa's piece. Number five, Kanye handpicked roughly 30 designers and consultants to contribute to Pastel. Kanye, with the help of his trusted team of Dante, Virgil Abloh, Willa Perone, and Matt George, cast a wide net to rein in collaborators. At one point or another, a whole host of heavy hitters and legends in their own right were involved. Kim Jones, the Louis Vuitton men's artistic director who preceded Virgil, served as a consultant. Ben Baller was involved, LRG founder Jonas Bivacqua was in talks, a bathing ape even almost handled distribution. Taz Arnold summed it up best, it was X-Men coming together. Number four, pastel is gonna be wide ranging. Pastel was set to include both men's and women's apparel, accessories, jewelry, and footwear. Kanye worked with Daniel Beckerman, who founded Retro Super Future Sunglasses. Ben Baller at one point designed plastic colored Jesus pieces with brass on the back. Ye also recruited lesser known designers like Emma Hedlund of Common Sweden, who designed the women's line, as well as Saif Bakir, also of Common Sweden. Number three, there were several pastel logos made, including one by Cause. Cause was brought on to design a pastel logo at one point, but a number of different people all contributed a take, or 20. Giorgio De Salvo and Paolo Badua, founders of Italian brand Vanguard, submitted 31 different graphics. Toronto graphic artist Brian Espiritu recalls having four days to turn in five to six concepts. The only designer that they actually told me was working on it, other than myself, was Cause. They'd sent me the work he had done, it was a bird with sunglasses, to reference it, and they were like, this is what Cause did. You just gotta do something that Kanye is gonna think is better than this. Kanye and his team planned on opening pastel stores. Now this should come as no surprise, but Ye did indeed have plans for brick and mortar pastel stores. It's interesting to note that even now with the success of Yeezy, Kanye still hasn't opened up an actual permanent store that exists as something more than just a pop-up space. Number one, the line had a healthy price range. When you're dealing with Kanye, wealth, luxury, and premium fabrics are to be expected, which of course, run the price up. Just look at Yeezy, which made the timeline bulk when season one prices were released. But surprisingly, plans for pastel included pieces that wouldn't have broken the bank. A former business associate of Kanye's who asked to remain anonymous told Carissa that while exact pricing was never discussed, a pretty healthy range was in the works. They were $150 tees, sure, but also ones for $50. So those are just five things, but the full story is incredibly wide ranging and extensive, so go check that out on complex.com right now. For Complex News, I'm Frazier.